Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick energy update. This is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So the reading I did on, um, I think it was like the first, I was getting, for Leo, I was getting that somebody uh, went a different direction and basically the grass was just not greener on the other side. Um, they, they went through a major karmic lesson. It was something they had to learn on their own and now they're wanting to come back in um, with Aries, I also got an ex wanting to come back in. With Sagittarius, I got that there was someone in the past that was um, basically just not understanding you, maybe not listening to you, maybe, you know, kind of closed off to the connection a little bit, like maybe not taking the soulmate or the twin flame thing seriously. And now they're coming back with a new perspective. They're trying to be more open-minded. They're trying to listen to you more and understand you more. <clears throat> so... And I always encourage you guys to go for new love, though, because for the people that I channel, uh, for the for the people that are drawn to my channel, there is new love coming in too. someone that might treat you a lot better than the exes will treat you. But but for the fire signs, you do have a strong energy of exes kind of going their own way, feeling like the it's kind of similar energy with all with Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Um, the stories are different, of course, it all plays out in different ways, but very similar energies of, you know, exes not realizing what they had until they lost it. Um, someone kind of having like epiphanies, realizations, perspective shift, just major energy shifts for you guys where someone wants to come back in and give it another chance. So I'm going to pull a few cards just really quick with an energy update. See, what is your person? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what does your person want to tell you? Or what do you need to know about your love life right now? Like I said, you also have new love coming in though. So you don't, I'm just reading the energy, but you don't have to go for this. You can, I mean, you can say no to this. In fact, for a lot of you, I probably would recommend saying no to this and, and, you know, breaking your patterns if you are stuck in, in toxic patterns and, you know, manifesting your new person, manifesting someone who knows what they have when they have it, you know? It's like this person is coming back around, but it's like they didn't really realize what they had with you until there was a period of separation. Seven of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands, yeah. Ten of Wands reversed, Knight of Pentacles, yeah, someone coming forward. Knight of Pentacles would be someone, maybe someone who needed to get financially stable before they could come forward to you. I see this as someone that like you were defensive with them in the past or they were defensive with you. I think there's just something with finances here that maybe they needed to focus on finances more. Maybe finances were an issue for you guys. There's just some sort of energy here that something was off with that. That Maybe, maybe that was part of their insecurity. So what I'm feeling from this, from these cards is that your person is kind of a perfectionist. I feel like there's some third party energy here that was distracting them from you. Something that they were just kind of like they were like defensive about their money or their career that they needed to focus on. Like someone who would kind of like make a lot of excuses like, oh, I have a lot in my plate. I need to focus on um, on finances or career or on some sort of third party energy. Somebody that just was not giving you all the in all their energy. Somebody that was kind of limiting how much energy they gave you. It was like almost giving you little breadcrumbs here and there. Like they were trying to keep you on hold because they knew that they did want you in the future, but they wanted to focus on other things in the meantime. They weren't really ready for a relationship. Um, Seven of Wands, it's like, yeah, they were kind of defensive of their ego. They were defensive of their space, maybe used to being alone too. I still feel finances here because it was like they were trying to get all their ducks in the row. They were trying to get everything in order. And it's, it's someone who's kind of a perfectionist. It's like now they're coming back in and they're seeking the truth. They're seeking peace. They're they're wanting communication. It's like it's a very slow moving night, but it's like they're they are coming back in. It's just been sort of um, it's been a process. Definitely. Five of Wands, yeah, either not communicating at all or it's like you guys are talking, but you're making small talk. You're not saying what you both really want to say. There's there's still a lot of communication that needs to be had here. Ten of Wands, I think that they had a lot of pressure on them. Now, this could be career. This could be because, I, I mean, I, I still see the, the finances here, something with Pentacles. Um, it's interesting. We got Pentacles and Wands, so it could also be 
dealing with an earth or a fire sign here. Hmm. But Ten of Wands, I think, like, upright, I would say it's like they have a lot of pressure on them. They have a lot of, it's like they weren't able to juggle everything. And now they're kind of releasing some of that pressure. Now they're kind of maybe not working as many hours or maybe they're trying to focus on love more because that part of their life is out of balance now because they've been focusing on all these other things and now they're wanting to come back in and focus on love because that's the one thing that's missing in their life. But, you know, I think they wanted you to wait for them, but I don't think they asked you to wait for them. I think they just kind of expected you to wait. And so it's like this time has gone by and there's this just kind of like cold energy where it's like you guys aren't, it's like an awkwardness, like you guys, you know, there's a lot that's that's unsaid right now, I think. I'm going to pull a few cards just to see what they want to say. But please remember, again, this is this is about your ex, but you do have new love coming in. And I'll be looking into that. Um, if this is resonating and you want to follow me, subscribe. Um, I'm I'll, When I do my Zodiac readings again, I, I always try to look into both the ex and the new person. You know, if that comes up. And it usually does come up, so... You know, you don't have to settle for this ex. You know, I know it's hard being alone, but it's like you don't want someone who just gives you breadcrumbs and just kind of expects you to wait without, they didn't even communicate. They just kind of figured, they just knew you were waiting. They just felt that you were waiting. But it's something that they should have communicated. They should have, you know, like they shouldn't have just left you in the dark and just had made you make that assumption, you know? So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what does your person want to say to you? What does your person want to say to you? My feelings for you are stronger than I let on. Yeah, someone who wasn't communicating. Someone who just kind of left everything unspoken and just assumed that it was known like they just they never told you they loved you but they just sort of assumed that by the way they looked at you or by the history you have or whatever it might be they just sort of assumed that you knew it but this person really needs to get if you guys are going to work this out your person really needs to get better at communicating and being open with you um, but like I said you have new love as well and for a lot of you I feel like the new love this isn't going to compare to the new love. The new love is going to be someone who is going to be able to communicate, going to be open, going to be emotionally available, going to have their ducks all in a row together already. You know, they're, they're, they're going to want to present a love offer to you. So keep that in mind that you do not have to settle for this ex. I'm just reading the energy. Family or friends played a role in our separation. Might be a specific message for someone on here. You came on strong. I wasn't ready for it. Yeah, that's kind of the thing I feel is like taking you for granted almost. It's like they just figured they knew you were waiting. They knew you loved them. They knew they they thought they knew that you'd be there in the end. And now they've, you know, they've been busy or they've been focused on other things for so long and they're wanting to come back in and they're realizing they don't actually know if you're still there or not anymore. They thought they had you on lockdown and now they're kind of questioning it. Part of me wants to come knock on your door or intentionally bump into you in somewhere that I know you'd be. So if there's like a certain place you guys used to go together, they might, or like, you know, workplace or something, maybe they're trying to find a way to see you. Um, I think they're also kind of afraid because like I said, they were expecting you to wait for them. And like, I think so much time has gone by that they're they're not so sure that you're waiting for them anymore. And it's like they're wanting to come in and talk to you but maybe they're afraid it's going to be awkward or maybe it's like you guys are talking but there's just it's hard to say what you need to say over text um and it's like they can read your reaction in person more so it's like they're really hoping for an in-person they really want to see you in person i think about you all the time the nostalgia hurts deeply you're my safe space, my frequent daydream. Sometimes it feels easier just to live in this imaginary world I've created in my head. So I think this is somebody who might be somewhat introverted too in the sense that they just kind of, they leave things unspoken and they just maybe fantasize about it. Maybe they think about how much they love you and so they just kind of think that you psychically know how much they love you. Or it's like they just figure, it's like they think about it so much that they just kind of don't realize that they haven't actually verbally expressed it to you. Um, you know, they're just kind of in their head a lot. 
I was afraid of how quickly I was falling in love with you, so I ran away. So yeah, they kind of sabotaged it and just focused on work and finances and third-party energies, and now they're wanting to come back in now that that energy is starting to calm down. I've thought about going on a vacation with you. Yeah, they really there's a strong energy of them wanting to see you in person if they haven't already. And then spying on you, I observe it, I observe and notice every little thing about you. I read your social media posts. So yeah, they're kind of I mean, I just get the sense like they're wanting it. They're you either you guys are talking or it's like very light and it's like you're not saying what needs to be said or you're not talking at all. Um I mean, if there is communication, I just don't think it's, it's, you're not being fully open with each other right now, I don't think. But I kind of feel like, yeah, they're kind of spying on you, kind of trying to figure out, like, you know, like, if they can talk to you, if, if you're open, if you would want that, um, if you're seeing somebody else at this point, like, they're kind of trying to figure out the situation. I think that's a big part of them just wanting to show up somewhere they can see you physically, because then they can judge your reaction. I think that they're almost afraid if they message you that you're just going to shut them down or you're going to be like, well, what took you so long? So they're really, right now they're really in their head struggling, wanting to come in definitely, but struggling to figure out how to come in. Um, so yeah, I hope that resonates. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe. I, you know, I do regular um, in-depth readings for, for each specific zodiac sign. And if you want me to look deeper into your situation too, I also do paid private readings. I have some specials going on in January. My email address is below in the description section. Um, these cards are also available to purchase. Just send me an email. So thank you for watching.